Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. After 55 years at the foot of Paldao Mountain in Suwon City, the Kyungi Provincial Government Complex will move to its new location in the Gwangyo area of Suwon. To minimize public service gaps during the move, relocation will take place in seven phases from April 14th to May 29th, with the full resumption of services slated for May 30th. According to a related official, the departments of each office and bureau will be located together on the same floors, while special facilities, such as the interrogation rooms and archives of the Special Judicial Police, will be situated close to their associated departments to facilitate work efficiency. At a meeting with one-person household policy specialist held on March 15th, Acting Kyungi Province Governor Oh Byung-gwan asserted that comprehensive long-term studies are necessary for related policy development. Noting that one-person households account for 27.6% of all households in the province, Acting Governor Oh also stated that specific policies must be established based on reality and reflecting complex reasons for one-person household existence, such as celibacy, marital delay, separation, aging, and individualism. This meeting was organized by the province to gather specialist opinions before establishing a five-year basic policy plan for one-person households in July. The Kyungi Province Special Judicial Police recently uncovered a large number of illegal public rental housing transactions made to realize profit through speculation. A total of 151 individuals were apprehended for illegal speculation in public rental housing and leases and for violating public rental housing resident requirements with total speculative investment by these individuals amounting to 48 0.4 billion Korean won. This was the first time that the Special Judicial Police of an Autonomy handled public rental housing fraud. These investigations covered public rental housing in seven new towns. Kyungi Province has redesignated the entire 60.1 square kilometer area of Wonsam Myeon, a semiconductor cluster development area in Yongin City, as a permit based land transaction zone until March 22nd of 2023. This measure, which renews a previous designation that expired on March 22nd of 2019, is aimed at countering the increased possibility of speculative investment in this area due to semiconductor cluster development plans. This one-year extension was made since the reasons for the previous designation still exist due to project delays stemming from issues such as land compensation. According to a recent survey by the Kyungi Province Institute of Health and Environment, the air quality of the province has significantly improved, with the heavy metal content of fine dust having decreased by 18 percent since 2018. The institute announced that the annual average content of 12 heavy metals in fine dust in the cities of Suwon, Ansan, Pyeongtaek and Weijungbu were 2.26 micrograms per cubic meter in 2018, 2 micrograms per cubic meter in 2019, 1.97 micrograms per cubic meter in 2020, and 1.85 micrograms per cubic meter in 2021. The Institute attributes this improvement to the province's seasonal fine dust management efforts undertaken since 2019. The priority procurement of social economy enterprise products by Kyungi Province last year amounted to a record 400 billion Korean won, marking a 20% increase over the previous year. This was confirmed by the Ministry of the Interior and Safety, which conducted a related evaluation of local autonomies in January and February. This result was attributed to the active inclusion of social economy enterprises in event operation and service provision by the province and local governments. On March 10th, the Seoul National University Bundang Hospital was designated as the Specialized Infectious Disease Hospital for the Capital Region by the Korea Disease Control and Prevention Agency after an assessment of four candidate hospitals. 
On March 17th, Acting Kyunggi Province Governor Oh Byung-gwan visited the hospital to view related preparations and encourage hospital personnel. During his visit, Acting Governor Oh also offered assurances that the province will provide active support while preparing itself to ensure that the infectious disease response system led by the hospital will work effectively. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.